Hi, I'm Angie. Today I'm going to show you quickly how to make the spinner card that I showed you on my blog. I'm using the Cricut Wild Card cartridge to cut this out and it's on page 51 of the manual. And I just think there's so many possibilities with it that it's just awesome. This is what it looks like. And as you can see you can put whatever you want in the little window and you spin the dial and you can have different things in there, little photos, you could have stamps, different icons, images, and then it's attached with a brad. So you can decorate it any way that you want to. And inside you've got a little pinwheel here that spins and that's what it's actually called is the pinwheel card. So anyway, I've got um, my cardstock loaded up and my wild card cartridge inserted and I'm cut this at five and a half inches. I think that will fit. Remember, you'd want to cut your envelope first, but for the sake of showing you how to do this, I'm just going to cut the card. So because I don't want these uh, little dots in there, it almost looks like Swiss cheese, I'm going to use the blackout feature to cut the card. So press blackout and then the card and cut. Okay, that's easy enough. Just unload the paper. And because I'm using 8.5 by 11 cardstock, I am going to have to load up another piece to cut out the wheel part. You can see this just cuts out the, the circle and the indent. And then it also leaves a little notch where you want to put the brad. Okay, so now the card base is cut. I want to cut the liner, which is actually just this circle here. And you don't need to change any of the sizes or anything because it's all going to be proportionally done for you as long as your real dial size is off. So you just um, want to press liner with no shift or anything. Just want to make sure that your liner feature is on and your pinwheel card and cut. So what's nice is the Cricut has the hole cut for you in the center and you know exactly where you're going to position it because the hole is cut in the card and if you fix a brad through there you can see it matches up perfectly. So now we'll go ahead and decorate the card. Okay now to decorate the front of the card I'm going to cut the card again in a nice pattern cardstock. I love this orange color. So I'm going to press the card. I'm going to leave the size the exact same and I'm going to press blackout because I don't want the little holes and cut. And now to make the little decoration frame that goes around the cutout circle I'm going to press frame, pinwheel card and you want to keep the size the same and I've loaded up a different coordinating pattern paper and cut. So now we have the base of the card and we have the pattern paper to decorate it. I'm going to just adhere that on top and here's the little frame and and then here's the pinwheel which we're going to attach with a brad. Then I'll show you how to stamp in the window. Okay, so I glued on the pattern paper onto the card base and I scored the card where the tick marks are on my trimmer, so that's ready to go. Now all I need to do is glue on my frame and before I do that I'm just going to take this little tiny mini brad and put it through the hole that's provided that the Cricut cut for me. Now I'm going to put the brad through the hole in the center of the liner, the circle. It's really nice that it cuts it for you, so it's easy to do. And there we have it. And that turns. I'm going to put the frame on using some two-way glue. I'm going to use this Taggers Dozen stamp set to put little images in there, and I definitely want to use my Stampamajig for that. So I line that up. I'm going to use really rust ink. And I'm going to start with the hello. I'll just ink that up. I'm going to stamp on the jig, then I can see what it's going to look like. Then I just line it up in the little window, my first spot. Put the stamp on the jig back. Ink up my image one more time. And then I'm going to turn it until I can't see it anymore then I know that it will be hidden. 
and I'll do the next stamp. Okay, the card's all done. I just added a bit of ribbon and a little bit of glitter around here. That just kind of draws attention to the, the greeting there. So You could do so much more with these, but I like it just like this. Thanks for watching, and I hope you try a pinwheel card.